subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for Google Cloud Certified Professional Data Engineer. So let's get started. Question number 1, explain the concept of data engineering. Your answer is, in the field of big data, the word data engineering is used. It concentrates on the use of data collection and analysis. The information gathered from different sources is merely raw information. Data engineering aids in the transformation of unusable data into valuable knowledge. Question number 2, what is the concept of data modeling? Your answer is, data modeling is a technique for visually recording complex software designs in a way that everyone can understand. It is a conceptual representation of data objects that are linked to laws and other data objects. Question number 3, when block scanner detects a compromised data block, what happens next? Your answer is, when block scanner detects a compromised data block, the following steps occur. First and foremost, when the block scanner detects a compromised data block, data node notifies name node. Then, name node begins the process of constructing a new replica from a corrupted block replica. The replication factor is compared to the replication count of the right replicas. The compromised data block will not be removed if a match is found. Question number 4. How do you go about deploying a big data solution? Your answer is, to deploy a big data solution, go through the steps below. 1. Combine data from various sources such as RDBMS, SAP, MySQL, and Salesforce. 2. Save the data extracted in a NoSQL database, or HDFS. 3. Use computing frameworks like PIG, Spark, and MapReduce to deploy a big data solution. Question number 5, when it comes to data modeling, what are some of the architecture schemas that are used? Your answer is, when it comes to data modeling, there are two schemas to consider. They are as follows. 1. Star Schema. 2. Snowflake Schema. Question number 6, in a nutshell, what is Star Schema? Your answer is, the Star Schema, also known as the Star Join Schema is one of the most basic schemas in the data warehousing definition. It has a star-like structure, with fact tables and related dimension tables. When dealing with large quantities of data, the star schema is commonly used. Question number 7, what is Snowflake Schema, in brief? Your answer is, with the addition of more dimensions, the Snowflake Schema is a primary extension of the star schema. The name comes from the fact that it is shaped like a snowflake. After normalization, the data is ordered and divided into more tables. Question number 8, what does rack knowledge imply? Your answer is, rack knowledge is a term in which the name node uses the data node to increase incoming network traffic while simultaneously reading, or writing to the file that is the nearest to the rack from which the request was made. Question number 9, what are the different components in the Hive data model? Your answer is, Following are some of the components in Hive. 1. Buckets. 2. Tables. 3. Partitions. Question number 10. In Hive, what is Serda? Your answer is. 1. Serialization and deserialization in Hive are referred to as Serda. It is the operation that occurs as records are passed through Hive tables. 2. The deserializer takes a record and transforms it into a Hive compatible Java object. 3. The serializer now takes this Java object and transforms it into an HDFS compatible format. HDFS takes over the storage role later. Question number 11, what is data modeling? Your answer is, data modeling is the method of documenting complex software design as a diagram so that anyone can easily understand. It is a conceptual representation of data objects that are associated between various data objects and the rules. Question number 12, what is name node? Your answer is, it is the centerpiece of HDFS. It stores data of HDFS and tracks various files across the clusters. Here, the actual data is not stored. The data is stored in data nodes. Question number 13, what are the four V's of big data? Your answer is, the following forms to be the vital foundation of big data. 1. Volume. 2. 
Variety. 3. Velocity. 4. Veracity. Question number 14. How to deploy a big data solution? Your answer is. Follow the following steps in order to deploy a big data solution. 1. Integrate data using data sources like RDBMS, SAP, MySQL, Salesforce 2. Store data extracted data in either NoSQL database or HDFS. 3. Deploy big data solution using processing frameworks like PIG, Spark, and MAP, Reduce. Number 15. Explain Hadoop Distributed File System. Your answer is. Hadoop works with scalable distributed file systems like S3, HFTPFS, FS, and HDFS. Hadoop distributed file system is made on the Google file system. This file system is designed in a way that it can easily run on a large cluster of the computer system. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.